You're right everyone, it's Ace Rear from Romany Custom Catapults as always. Right, it's the second attempt at doing this video. I just can't seem to get light anywhere on these miserable, miserable winter days. Uh, maybe it's this camera, I don't know, it's just, it just seems to be the most stressful part of building a catapult now is getting the right build pictures. My dog is barking. Someone's obviously arrived. I don't know. They can wait. Anyway, as you can see, Pelly case. 11.20 requested by the customer we'll open her up it's a bit of a unique wrap to this one in terms of colour right we'll talk about the back first we have got several layers of carbon and G10 3mm carbon then we've got oh, is this macro not going to work for me there we go 3mm carbon half a mil G10 one mil carbon or 1.5 mil carbon or it might be two mil carbon i don't know i think it's 1.5 then half a mil g10 and then another layer of three mil carbon bit of a different configuration than i've done before you can just about see the two layers of g10 there sandwiched in the middle piece of carbon painted the riv nuts black black carbon pins matching bead and let's go to the front now, this material here is pink Juma. I'm not the first person to ever use Juma. I know Thomas Kretschmeier has used it, a top quality builder from Germany. He's the first person I've seen use it. I'm not sure if I've seen anyone else use it, to be honest, but it's the first time for me, and I'm massively impressed. The pattern goes all the way through, and that looks incredibly cool to me. I decided to do a different split. Well, it's a more difficult split to do, to be honest, uh, for certain reasons. But I wanted it to look different. I wanted it to kind of, I don't know, I wanted the angle, I wanted this to come all the way down like this. If I'd done an angle split, it wouldn't have worked the same. So I just, it's the way I decided to configure it. Uh, and it's come out the best, let's be honest. Now, I didn't do any spacers in between the material here and here. Uh, side on carbon would have been too wide. Black G10 wouldn't have been visible. So I decided just to go straight in, not overcomplicate things, which I think looks quite good. And then this carbon is 4mm carbon, but it's a different type of carbon. Now, for a while, I've wanted to lose the pattern completely in carbon to get that, I don't know, anthracite kind of look. Uh, how could I explain it? Lead, like a lead pencil type of look. And every time I've done it with this carbon, the pattern goes all the way through. It just doesn't seem to want to come out. It messes up a little bit, but it doesn't come out. So I took advantage of this piece, and I decided to take the pattern completely out. And I'm loving the stripes I've got through it. Believe it or not, these clips are cut the exact same way, but the lines go up on that one and down on that one. So, well, across, as you can see, they go across on that one and down on that one. But I love the look of it. I think it looks really good, really different. Also, those little pieces there that I had to put in, they've also got a piece of G10 underneath, just to bulk it out, out a bit, otherwise it would have been a little bit too low for the pink Juma. So, they were ex extremely difficult to get right, to be honest, yeah. But we got there. I'm very happy with it. Pink bolt cups, slanted tips, standard dimensions pretty much. Can't remember, I think it's about 91 or 2 on the outside. Tips are 23 or 4. I can't actually remember. But, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. Oh, look at that. The macro works lovely for us. It's pretty cool material, you've got to say. That looks pretty goddamn cool vibrant pink again requested kid obviously likes pink I like pink I think it looks seriously cool I think I've got everything right I think losing the the pattern in the carbon there was right the double split was right I got the angles perfect if that was to be bulked out there like this side they'd match up perfect I think or thereabouts so yeah Looking at this build, I don't think I could be happier with it, to be honest with you. There's nothing on it that I could say, well, I'd have liked that to have been a bit better, or this to have been a bit better. I mean, the carbon pins, I suppose, could have been a bit better. That's no fault of mine, though. They've got lines in the pins. That's just the way the pins are made. Nothing to do with me. Zero glue lines here. Finish is bang on. This carbon's finished lovely. Yeah. Absolutely spot on. Right. 
I won't be back with a build for probably a week now because I've got two two to start tomorrow. I'll go full ammo over the weekend, probably be four or five days before I get them finished, but I will be back soon with those. And every build I'm doing now is going to be a nice one, right? Run up to Christmas. They're all going to be high end builds. Uh, yeah. Cheers all. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back soon.